Um, the Jim Burry part, uh, Dave, I think it's Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh, if, if I've got your name wrong, I, I apologize. It was very difficult to see, uh, find your details. Um, so I'm assuming it's Dave Morgan. Uh, Dave, um, <laughs> I just got your, your review. And while I'm at it, I thought I'd just do a quick one for you on Sunday morning here. Um, okay, so I come over to your website. And, uh, you know, first thing I noticed that you're a full-fledged, uh, full-service gym, and then you offer different programs like in-body and personal training. Uh, and that's awesome. Okay, so let's just start from the very top here. The Jim Berry part, uh, home. Um, the first thing I would do is take out the word home. I like the word the Jim Berry part. If you can come up with a better uh, tagline uh, or, or title tag, sorry, to the page, that would be awesome because when people come to Google and they actually find you or they look at the website name, wherever they're searching, you know, the Jim Berry part, uh, you know, um, unique uh, services, uh, you know, unique classes to help you lose weight or whatever the tagline is, uh, I think you should, you should add that to the title tag. Just get people's attention and draw it in. Second thing here, I want to come over the Jim Berry part at CO, that you can index at HTML. Uh, whoever's running your site or doing your soft site should have this word index.html uh, removed. Uh, it's a canonical issue. It's a technical thing, meaning you have duplicate pages on your site. Not very good over time, uh, especially if you know migrate, move the site, do things with it. Uh, it's not going to help you drive some traffic and stuff like that. So I would I would uh, get someone to look at your the, the, the naming convention of your pages because uh, that's important. And uh, over time, especially if you're looking to build a long-term asset and business, and your website is part of that, uh, you, you, you need to fix up those uh, canonical issues on the website. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to spend some time going through your entire website. I want to do a quick review focusing on the home page because to me I think the home page is the most important one because a lot of people will find you know your main URL jimberryport.co.uk and they'll decide from here whether they want to take action or not and whether they want to work with you or not. Okay, so so the first thing here you got the gym, okay, the design, I really like the color scheme, uh, black and red uh, and, and white, um, and I think it's an awesome color scheme, so I quite like that, and I think you did a good job with that. Uh, so we come here, the Jim Berry port, that's good. Info at the Jim Berry port dot com, uh, you're, I'm assuming that's a telephone number, uh, that's awesome. So, so that's great, you know, um, if you can make that slightly bigger so people can actually see that. Um, in here, you've got your uh, tabs, that, that's okay, that's good. Now, the problem when I come down and read this, and, and it could be me, but you know, I've been involved in a lot of sites right now, is that from an eye gravity perspective, when someone's coming here, they're looking on their cell phones, or they're coming in and they're looking at this, it's very, very distracting. I can't make a decision one way or the other what it is that I need to do and what is this thing all about. So if I start left to right here reading, uh, at the gym we offer much more than the average gym or workout, health and nutritional plans and exuded to your exact requirements. You get the most, no fatty diets, no consultation, gym membership, uh, $15 a month, click here to sign up. Um, when I do click here to sign up, um, it takes me to a page not found. I don't know whether the site is new or what, but that's not a no-no for Google, especially if you want to get traffic. So you want to fix that. This, this is very difficult for me to comprehend. Um, are you selling me a gym membership? Now, historically, I know a gym membership is for you know 15, 20 pounds, whatever. Or you know, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to sell me uh, another program with my gym membership so I can get the best out of it? Okay, so that's that's the first confusion I have. When I come here, I'm seeing some pictures. Uh, I don't know what that's got to do with gym membership. Is that, okay, so I see, see you showed me some pictures of some personal training and stuff. And then here, this is also very distracting. Sometimes if I'm coming here, I may see red zone, I may see in body, or I may see personal training. Very, very difficult to read. Not sure what's going on. The next thing I notice here, when I type in InBody, it says personal training, okay? And if I go to personal training, it says personal training, and it has the same data. So I think these two pages are duplicated. Uh, so it's very confusing to read. And aside from that fact, whenever you have duplicate pages, Google's not going to like the site. And over time, you're just not going to get traffic to the site. Okay, so what I like about this part is 
you have the red zone, the in-body, the personal training, the gym. This is awesome because I can see clearly, distinctly that you have four different uh, programs that you're offering. I would move this, you know, more down on the page. Uh, my concern is the way you have this three-column layout on the top here and the way it's structured uh, really concerns me because I think my suspicion is if you look at your bounce rate reports, if you go to Google Analytics, sorry, if you have analytics installed on this website and if you look at a thing called bounce rate, I'm sure people come here and leave the website because it's very distracting to actually understand. Here's my suggestion for you. Uh, instead of making it a three column blog, you probably want to make it a two column uh, type, you know, with the layout. But but here's what here's what the thing is going to take you from, you know, very little conversions or the amount of conversions you have now to a ton of conversions, okay? The first thing is you need to have uh, some personality on the site. You need to tell your story, okay? It's very difficult for me to find it. Even though I'm coming to a gym, I want to know what am I part of? Who's the owner? What does he do, etc. I would strongly suggest creating a quick video of yourself, okay? Um, right up here, like a little YouTube video or something. Talk 30 seconds, who you are, what you're trying to offer, what you're trying to do, the story you're trying to tell. Uh, you know, offer them a quick, quick consultation, show them what others are getting, and then maybe put an opt-in form for people to leave the name and email address uh, where you give them a consultation or follow up with them or something like that, if that makes sense for you, okay? Because what that does is immediately people come here to get an understanding of what it is that you're trying to do or trying to accomplish, okay? The next thing here is that you've got some really good stories to tell, which is very different than a normal average gym, but unfortunately, that's not coming out. So underneath the video, you know, you, you, you can have a video. I'm not asking you to use the design. You keep your design. I'm just going to show you an example, you know. Um, have the video and have an opt-in form. Uh, but keep your design and everything the way you have it. And then underneath the video, you don't need to have a long-form sales letter at all. I don't think you need to do that because you're a gym. It's quick and it's easy. What you should do, though, is, is trying to take this paragraph here and move that underneath it and explain it a little bit. You know, um, from what I understand, and I could be wrong here, what the red zone is, is that you give you give away group classes during the week where people can come to the gym and not just endlessly run on the treadmill, but can participate in these group classes and they can get the results that they're looking for, right? So if, if that's the case, then that is such a strong offer, a compliment to your gym, people are not seeing that or getting that, right? So what I would do is, I would, you know, you have a video here, you have an opt-in form, you push this all the way to the bottom, and then with, within the space here, I don't know if you can imagine that, I would explain that here. i say, hey, uh, you know, this is Dave, you know, most people are try. I, I'm sure you try it, you're tired of a traditional gym where uh, all you do is you run on the treadmill, you work out on some weights, and you're not motivated to come in. I've designed something that's completely unique and most people are not doing it. I call it my red zone workout. You know, it's it's three times a week and it's, uh, you know, it's a group group instruction and here's what it does for you. Boom, boom, boom. And then take some pictures of someone actually working out on the red zone workout. Get a testimonials. Testimonials are critical. Whether you have a local gym, whether you have a boot camp, it doesn't matter. Testimonials are what is going to sell this thing, right? Take two testimonials. One is of experience, how people love those classes. Number two, testimonials of the results they get when taking those classes. And you can say, hey, look, here's the deal. Those classes are worth, uh, you know, uh, 20 pounds each. If you take three classes a week, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, 60 pounds. If you take nine classes, it's uh, uh, four classes. That's, uh, you know, $180 value, whatever the number is. And then say, you know what? That's all free. It's all part of your gym membership. It's only going to be 15 pounds per month, and that's it. And my commitment to you is when you come and work out with us, we're going to do everything. We're going to give you um, a, a nutritional plan. We're going, to, we're going to show you what to eat. We're going to show you when to work out. We're going to, you know, we're going to have uh, nutritional educational seminars for you, and we'll tell you. You see, the problem is right now you got such a valuable offer. I can't value it. The human being that comes here can't take all of this and make sense out of it. They don't know the story to tell. You've got to help them tell that story for them. What it is you offer, what the experience is going to be like, what, what other people are saying about you, what this thing's actually worth. 
And then you make, an, you make a guarantee. You come in your first month, you come and take three of the red zone um, uh, workouts, or you work out on your own, you don't lose X amount of pounds, you know, I'll refund your first month membership back or something like that. Okay, so what I would like to see is a lot more elements in terms of, you know, some testimonials, um, you know, uh, results that people are getting from it, and, and you know, an offer. So here's what's missing right now. You know, the, this, this, this red zone thing is worth 160 pounds. You're going to get it for 15 pounds a month. It's all part of your membership. And then, and then make them a guarantee, a 30-day guarantee, a 60-day guarantee, whatever guarantee you want to offer them. Because they know, hey, you know what? I come and work out. I take a few of these classes. I'm going to get the results. If not, just give me money back. Most people don't want the money back. But what they're looking for is that they want to feel comfortable that they're going to come in and they're going to get the results. And you are putting to, willing to put your money where your mouth is in terms of that, right? And then finally, get them to pick up the phone and call you right now. You need to tell them, let's not, let's not put this off any longer. Give me a call, 1-800-INFO, let's act now and let's do it. And then I will personally commit to getting you into the best shape of your life, okay? And then take out all the other stuff, like the personal training, the in-body, the uh, um, everything else that's confusing. Then at the very bottom of the page, you can have this red zone, in-body personal training, and the gym pictures at the very bottom over there. Move all of this way down, okay? So I know that's a lot of feedback right now. Whatever I told you, I would get someone to design it in the context of the way you've already got it designed because uh, you've got a beautiful design already. You're not looking for long form sales letters. No, you're not looking for that. Two or three lines of text explaining it, especially if you put it from left to right, it's only gonna be two or three lines, four lines. You're gonna put some nicely designed testimonial pictures, an awesome offer, awesome guarantee, act now. Doesn't need to be a lot to read, okay? Okay, uh, I hope that makes sense. I, I have no doubt it'll help your conversion spike through the roof because for 15 pounds and you're offering those group classes, it's an amazing offer. That offer is what get people to take action and that offer is not the focus. That should be the focus of your attention. That offer should shine. You know, bring it out, show people what it is. I have no doubt that they're gonna, uh, they're gonna love that offer, okay? Um, you can leave the rest of it there. Uh, something's wrong with some of the pages that are not working, that needs a cleanup. Also, what you wanna do is put a Google XML sitemap uh, type in Google, G-O-O-G-L-E, e -X, X as in Xerox, as in M as in Mary, L as in Larry, and type the word sitemap, uh, it's a plugin, because what you need to do is for Google to index all the pages on your site so they can find it and serve it up and get more people to come over and look at it. Uh, especially when you're taking names and email address, you wanna have a privacy policy, uh, terms and conditions somewhere at the bottom of the page as well. Uh, very important uh, for people to feel comfortable uh, that you're not gonna just um, you know, give the information away um, yeah, and that's about it. So I think that's a lot of feedback. I just want to leave you with the homepage. I don't want to go through the rest of them because it'll be very confusing and, and time consuming. But I think, I think, you know, you're in the right direction. You got, you got some really valuable stuff. It's just a matter of replacing it and, and retweaking it here. And then, you know, if you start sending traffic from Facebook or wherever, I have no doubt that, 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 that this thing will convert and do well. Okay. If you have any questions, leave me a comment underneath this or, uh, through Facebook. I'll definitely get back and try to help you some more and give you some more feedback. Okay, take care. Bye.